Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking to differentiate the function j of v is equal to v cubed minus 2v times v to the negative fourth plus v to the negative 2. Now right off the bat it might seem like it's going to be easier to use the product rule but we're actually not going to do that we're going to distribute first. We'll see why. We have v cubed times v to the negative 4. Again just distributing out plus v cubed v to the negative 2 minus 2v times v to the negative 4 minus 2v v to the negative 2. Okay, so simplifying this out right here, when you are multiplying these two terms and they have the same base, you can add their exponents. So we have v to the 3 minus 4 plus v to the 3 minus 2 minus, think of this as v to the 1, 2v to the 1 minus 4 minus 2v to the 1 minus 2. This is equal to v to the negative 1 plus v to the 1, which is just v, minus 2v to the negative 3 minus 2v to the negative 1. This is equal to v to the negative 1 minus 2v to the negative 1 is negative v to the negative 1. Again, combining like terms, plus v minus 2v to the negative 3. Now, um, we can take the derivative of that by just taking the derivative of each of these terms. The derivative of negative v to the negative 1. First of all, get that negative sign out in front. Take that as negative 1 for your coefficient. Then you're multiplying it by the exponent. And then your new exponent is the old one, minus 1. We have a linear term here. We could go through the power rule, since this is just v to the first power. But if you ever have a term with it's just the first power, you can say, okay, we have the coefficient of 1 here, since plus v is the same as plus 1v. Coefficient is just going to be the derivative, so this is plus 1. Last term, we have minus 2, get that in front, multiply it by your exponent with the power rule, and then say negative 3 minus 1. Subtract 1 for your new exponent. And this is going to give us a final derivative of negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So we're just going to have 1, v to the negative 1 minus 1 is v to the negative 2. We have one of those, but when you have 1, you don't have to put the coefficient on front. Plus 1 stays the same. Minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6, v to the negative 3 minus 1. This is probably about the same amount of work as it would be to do the um, product rule, but I find it a lot easier to do this. I think there's less room for mistakes when you do it this way. There are definitely cases for where the product rule is helpful. I don't think this is one of them, but this is your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.